How is the relationship between the father and the mother? And that's extremely important as well. Sometimes you have a house, a family where the father is always arguing with the mother or the mother is also arguing with the father. That kind of argumentative environment is not very healthy for the children. You find the children are always intense. Now people say, no, no, we're fine. Alhamdulillah, nothing is wrong. No, they can read your face. Those of you who have children, you notice. Children can read your face. If you're upset, immediately they'll come, you know, they'll realize you're upset. And if you're happy, they know that you're happy. So if they see you intense, fighting with the father or the mother the whole time, what do you think the environment in the house is? Whereas look at the environment and the relationship in the house of Fatima and Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhim as -salam. What kind of environment? Last night I mentioned in Hadith al-Kisa, As-salamu alayki ya binta Rasulillah. Wa alayka as-salamu ya Aba al-Hassan wa ya Amir al-Mu'mineen. Ya Fatima, inni ashummu anda kiraya. What a beautiful conversation. You know, salam, how are you, you okay, and so on and so forth. Even when Imam Ali alayhi salam in those days when he did not have much money and they did not have much food for the children, Fatima alayhi salam would not fight with him. Where is the food? You're keeping us hungry for three days. Where is the food? She'd never do that. And when he asked her, why haven't you told me, Ya bint Rasulillah, that you have not had food for three days? She said, I did not want to burden you, Ya Amir al mumin I didn't want to add to your pressure. I know you don't have much. So look at, the, look at the beautiful environment in the house. This is something important. You have issues to discuss as a father and a mother, try not to do it in front of the children. Try to, once they go to sleep, for example, to discuss your issues. And try to solve your issues. Always have communication. But try to solve these issues in a manner that does not reflect and impact the children. You just need a little bit of patience, my, my brothers and sisters, a little bit of uh, patience. These days, we unfortunately don't have any patience. We don't have any patience. The minute she said one word, خلاص, I'll answer her with 10 words. And then she'll answer back with 100 words. And so on and so forth. خلاص. That's, and then we'll call it quits. مع السلامة. You go your own way, I'll go my own way. So many cases of divorce that are happening these days. When I speak to the man, to the woman, you find this is the essence of it. You know, just be patient a little bit. Sabr, asbr, asbr shway. Have sabr. Be patient. She says a word, خلاص. Okay. Sorry, I, 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 I beg your forgiveness. Even though she might be wrong, or if he says a word, even though he might be wrong, just say, I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, it's okay. Please forgive me for this. Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam on the last day of her life, she called Imam Ali alayhi salam and he, she said, Ya, 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 ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, if I have said anything or done anything to wrong you, please forgive me. Allah. Allahu Akbar. And he cried and he said, Ya Fatima, ma ra'aytu minki illa jameela. I did not see but beauty from you. What are you talking about? And he answers her. He says, Naam ya Sayyidati. Yes, my master. Ya Sayyidati. When in fact he is the Sayyid because now Rasulullah has died. He is the Imam. He is the Imam of Az-Zahra alayhi salam. Yet he calls her Ya Sayyidati. Look at the status of Az-Zahra alayhi alayha. Look at the respect between the husband and the wife. This is the akhlaq we know. Is this how we talk at home? Is this the language we speak at home? You know? I see some men laughing. It's like, yeah, right, well, whatever. I will tell my wife my master. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajah. The hadith says when a husband tells his wife, I love you, he owns her heart. In other words, he's encouraged. The hadith is encouraging the, the husbands to say, I love you to your wife. And sometimes show love not only with words, with actions. If she is too tired, for example, she's tired. She's a human being at the end of the day too, just like you. you know. But no, I expect her to be a machine. You know, I can get tired, but her wife cannot get tired. You know, she has to cook, clean, do the laundry, do everything, look after the children, everything. That's yeah, that's her responsibility. I know. I come from work. I'm tired. خلاص, I go asleep. That's it. And I have to wake up, and the food has to be on the table, ready. Everything is ready. She's a human being also. She, is, she gets tired. If she's too tired, you say, you know what? I'll do the dishes tonight. No problem. I'll, I'll do the laundry today. No problem. Help each other. She wakes up and she finds the dishes are all done. That's a gesture of respect. A gesture of love. This is something important. This is what we find in the house of Fatima and Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhim as -salam. Such kind of respect. This is kind of relationship that's there in the house.